say for example, let's take this particular example. Log of 1000 to the base 10 plus log 27 to the base 3. Now how do we do this? If you see log of 1000 can be written as log n cube to the base 10. Now why are we doing that? You are counting it. Plus log 27. 27 can be written as 3 cube to the base 3. Now we use the rule that whenever you take the index, the index will become the coefficient. That is log of a raised to m will be m log a. So it's going to be 3 log 10 to the base 10 plus 3 log 3 to the base 3. What have we done? We have taken the index as a coefficient. We did, you're using the rule that log of a raised to m to the base b is m log a to the base b. So now this again, now we are using the rule log of any number to the same base is 1 plus 3 into log of any number to the same base is 1. So it's 3 plus 3 which is 1. Sorry, I'm sorry, 3 plus 3 that is 9. Hence we get this extremely sorry which is 6. 3 plus 3 is 6. So hence we get the value of this particular thing as 6. So we have converted. So use the simple rule. This is something which you will come across very often. Log of a number, you take it to the same base. Now let us see over here. Here we should not mix up the rule. We are multiplying the logs, not the numbers. So now this is going to be log 5 into log 5 into log 625. Now log 625 is nothing but log of 5 raised to 4. So it's log of 5 raised to 4 which can be written as log 5 into log 5 into 4 log 5 which is going to be 4 into log 5 the whole cube. So the final value of this is going to be 4 into log 5 the whole cube. For the simplification we will need to know the values of this. Now here the base has not been mentioned, we take the base as 10 but ultimately we are using this particular rule and also we are cross. Remember one thing, we need to be alert. This is not to be mixed with log 5 into 5. Log 5 into 5 can be written as log 5 plus log 5 but this is log 5 into log 5 which is not the same as this.